يا حنان يا منان يا حنان يا منان يا حنان يا منان يا حنان يا منان Our Allah who turns to his servant after his servant turns to him Our Allah who turns to his servant before his servant turns to him Ya Hanan, Ya Manan. Say it, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan. So these are the two names of Allah that He's saying. Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan is burning. Jibreel comes straight to Allah and says, Oh Allah, there is one person. Allah knows. Allah knows He's there. But He wants to show us His mercy. So He says, Yes. And what does He want? Go and ask Him what does He want. So Jibreel says, Allah sent me to you, ask you, what do you want? Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu Allah is now talking to this person directly. He says, Oh Allah, oh Allah, all I want, all I want, just take me out of this place. Just stay, I'm not gonna ask you anything more. Hannan, Hannan, just take me out of this place. Allah says, if I take you out of this place and you start asking me one more thing, no 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 Allah, no no Allah. I just want to get out of this place and that's it. Allah says, okay, take him out. So Allah takes him out. Allah tells Jibreel to wash him. Or the angels to wash him, he gets washed. Now this water that is called Ma'ul Hayat. Anyone who gets anyone who went to Jahannam as a Muslim or as a good Christian in the time of you know after Isa alayhi salam and after Musa salam, the good Jews, they will be washed. If they end up in hellfire, they will be washed. This is not this is not talking about the Christians and Jews in our time. They have to believe in Muhammad. Sallallahu okay? They have to believe to get to Jannah now, they have to believe in that. I'm talking about the people, the Christians and Jews before. And the Muslims or anyone who believed in the Prophet of their time when the Prophet was around before the next Prophet came and they ended up in Jahannam, Allah would say, okay, now wash them with Ma'ul Hayat. It's a, it's a fresh water that washes all the, th all the things from, from, the, from, from, from the body. Except one thing, there's a mark that stays here. The mark that stays here is freed from hell. <laughs> out of the mercy of God. Freed from hell, out of the mercy of God. So that's, and when they go to Jannah, you know what happens? The, the people who are in Jannah, they look at them and they think, oh, that, that, hey, hey, that's a guy that's been freed from, that's a guy that's been free, free from hellfire. Look, look at his forehead. And they will make dua to Allah, oh Allah, please. All these people are looking at that. So Allah will say, okay, now he will then wipe that off their heads. So they will be like the rest of them, okay? Now this guy's got this mark on his head. But he's nice and, you know, healthy as anything. So then, you know, he's middle of nowhere. No man's land. He's out of Jahannam, but not in Jannah. In the distance, he can see a beautiful place. Man, so beautiful. What did Rasulullah say about Jannah? مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرْ No man has, no man's ears, no woman's ears has heard of Jannah. No eyes have ever seen Jannah. No mind has thought of Jannah. You know, you can sit here and Allah has said in the Quran, He said, I'll give you grapes in Jannah. Yes? What has Allah said? He's going to give us grapes. grapes. You can take the best grapes you want in this world and say, is it going to be like this? No, no, no. If you think that they're going to be like these grapes, you've lost it. This is nothing. This is nothing. You cannot imagine Jannah. Imam Ghazali said what? Imam Ghazali said a wonderful thing. He said, if you want to understand Jannah, the happiness of Jannah, I'm going to say this here, yeah, but... Um, Hope it's not going to be too offensive for some of you to say that. To hear this, yeah? Get ready, guys, yeah? Imam Ghazali says in his book, he says, when a, when a man is sleeping with a woman and then doing the business, you know the business? You know the business? They're doing the business. Some guy says, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you stay quiet. Don't worry, don't worry. When he gets to his peak, and his eyes are rolling or her eyes are rolling and they feel a great happiness inside them he said that happiness Imam Ghazali says that happiness when they're in the 
in that mode that's possibly the lowest 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 thing ever anyone can imagine the happiness of jannah because the people of jannah will always have a happiness beyond that can you imagine they're always inside jannah beyond that don't worry they're not going to be walking like this <gasps> Allah will give them the heart to take all of that, right? In fact, in the hadith, he says, subhanAllah, he says, Rasulullah has said, he said, every man will be given the power of 100 men of this earth in three things. Eat, drink, and sleep with the opposite gender. <coughs> you got a power of 100 men. So don't worry, you don't need to take Viagra with you on the other side. <laughs> Right? People who are in this world, I don't know what they do, try to get some pleasure in this world. You don't have to take any of that. Yeah, there's plenty of uh, things without any of these prescriptions over there. So, this man here is, is looking at Jannah. And he hears, he must be hearing the, you know, Jannah is going to be buzzing. Buzzing with, with uh, beautiful sounds that are coming from it. There's a lot of music in Jannah, but don't make music halal here. Alright? Because you just think it's in Jannah. So he then thinks, subhanAllah, he thinks, what am, I, what am I doing here? He says, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan. Allah says, hey, didn't, I just tell, didn't you just tell me that you're not going to ask me anything more? <laughs> please Allah, please Allah. My last wish. What's your last wish? Oh, Allah, please take me close to that place right in the distance. I can see it. I can Please just take me close to there. Allah says, okay, here, go close. Are you going to ask me again? No, 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 I'm not going to ask you again. Takes me close there. He comes near Jannah, and now he's outside Jannah. He's looking through the glass. You can imagine what he's seeing. Oh my God. He's seeing people are in bliss. You can imagine what Jannah is. There's people flying in the air, brothers. Yeah? It's not a normal place here. There's people who are living underwater. And they're with their wives as well. You know what I'm saying? Like? And the people in their palaces, and they're, they're, they're still on their 70th plate. 70th plate. And there's probably, you know, another few, there's another 70 rooms and each room has got 70 plates and each room has got another 70 beds as well. With 70 women waiting on site. So when he's seeing all this going on, whatever he's seeing, I'm not saying this hadith says what he says, but I'm saying from different hadith, he must be seeing a lot of stuff. <laughs> and when he sees all of that, he says, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan. Allah says, hey! <laughs> you, just, you just said you're not going to ask him. One more, one more. One more, one more, lick one, lick one. <laughs> so I said, okay, what do you want? He said, just please put me inside. Just, just inside, please. I'm going inside there. Will you ask me again? No, 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 no. He said, last one. So Allah then puts him inside. Now he goes inside. And you, you know what's happening, right? The guy doesn't own a penny in Jannah. He doesn't, he doesn't own anything in Jannah. So now he's in Jannah and obviously people are seeing the mark and he's the last guy to have that mark and can you imagine if somebody comes up to, up to him and says hey, man, you know, where do you live where do you come from who's going to say well, uh, janatul, janatul, uh, sorry, so, um, somewhere you know? so he's now feeling guilty he ain't got a place in Jannah he ain't got nothing no, no, no land in Jannah no palace in Jannah no plot in Jannah no woman in Jannah so he says Ya Allah, Ya Hanan, Ya Manan, Ya Hanan. Hey! Didn't I? Didn't you just say that? Okay, now he's thinking, oh my God, I, I, I've been taking the mic. Right? I better, when I make my wish this time, I said, what do you want? He said, when I make my wish this time, I better get it right. Okay? Because I can't carry on doing this, right? <laughs> so he thinks, Allah said, what do you want now? So he thinks, okay, 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 yeah. He's probably thinking about Forest Gate, thinking probably about North London, you know? Some of one of us are from, yeah. So he's thinking, he goes, nah, 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 nah. That, that, that place, Forest Gate, was too small, man. <laughs> North London, too small. London's too small. England's too small. Uh, Europe's too small. America, ah, uh, the whole world. Okay, okay, okay. Allah, I've got it right. Okay. You give me Allah. You know the world I was living in? The world, planet Earth, where I came from. I want a place in Jannah whole of the place to me, myself and more. The whole of that same as planet Earth, whole of it. America, Australia, the whole of the oceans, everything, the size of the whole planet. I want it for myself. 
Allah will say what Subhan Allah will say oh my servant here it is and he gives him and here is double that gives him here's triple that gives him his quadruple of that gives him here's another one gives him gives him and take it again and take it again and take it again take it again and take it again and take it again ten times and he said what all this he said take it and then he fills it up with all the things he needs inside it out of the mercy of the Rahman gives it free free to him and that the Rasulullah said what well, that's the man that will receive the minimum amount anyone has received in Jannah. 